What are the largest types of landforms? The seven largest land masses are called continents. The term continent comes from the Latin, and it means a continuous mass of land. The continents from largest to smallest are Asia, Africa, North America, South America, Antarctica, Europe, and Australia. Continents also have a cultural definition. Europe and Asia are actually one large landmass called Eurasia. But because the people of Europe are culturally different from the Asian groups, they are considered two separate continents. The dividing line is the Ural mountain range located in Russia. The continents together make up approximately one quarter of the Earth's surface. The four oceans and the other bodies of water make up the rest of it. Islands, which are bodies of land completely surrounded by water, are usually considered part of the continent that they are near. For example, the British Isles are considered part of Europe, and Japan is part of Asia. Some islands, however, are too far away from any continent to be part of one of them. Some of the islands in the Pacific, such as New Zealand and Hawaii, fall into this category. Sometimes islands are grouped together in an arrangement called an archipelago. Many of them are of volcanic origin. Japan and Hawaii are two examples of this type of archipelago. The Bahamas and the Atlantic Ocean are examples of non-volcanic archipelagic islands. Some islands are actually atolls. An atoll is a coral reef in the ocean that looks like a low ring-shaped island. This reef surrounds a body of water called a lagoon. Atolls are found mainly in the regions near the equator and most of them are found in the Pacific Ocean. What is the difference between a peninsula and a cape? A peninsula is a piece of land surrounded on most sides by water. They usually have long coastlines. Some familiar peninsulas include the Yucatan Peninsula, the Baja California Peninsula in Mexico, Italy, and the Iberian Peninsula in Europe the Malay Peninsula in Southeast Asia, and the Arabian Peninsula in Southwest Asia. A cape, on the other hand, is smaller than a peninsula. It is a point of land that extends into a body of water. Some well-known capes include the Cape of Good Hope at the southern tip of Africa, Cape Horn in the southern region of South America, Cape Hatteras off the coast of North Carolina, and Cape Cod in Massachusetts. What is an isthmus? An isthmus is a narrow strip of land connecting two larger land masses and separating two bodies of water. The best known isthmuses are the Isthmus of Panama and the Isthmus of Suez. Other major isthmuses include the Isthmus of Corinth in Greece and the Isthmus of Kra in Malaysia. What are the four major types of landforms? The four major types of landforms are mountains, hills, plains, and plateaus. Mountains are usually classified as land rising 1,000 feet or higher above the surrounding area. Most have a wide base and a narrowed peak. A peak is a pointed top of a mountain. Mountains are built in several ways. Mountains can be formed when two tectonic plates collide and push the Earth's crust upwards in folds. The Himalayas in Asia are an example of this type of mountain range. Some mountains are created by movements along a fault or a break in the Earth's crust. An example of this type of mountain range is the Sierra Nevada Mountains in the western United States. Volcanoes also form mountains. Volcanoes are vents in the Earth's crust caused by magma or molten material below the Earth's surface forcing its way up to the surface. Some famous volcanic mountains are Mount Fuji in Japan, Mount Kilimanjaro in eastern Africa, Mount Pele on the island of Martinique in the Caribbean, and Moana Loa in Hawaii. The longest mountain range on land is the Andes Range down the western coast of South America. But the longest mountain range on the Earth's surface is mostly hidden beneath the surface of the oceans. This range actually encircles the world and is over 40,000 miles long, 
It is called the Mid-Ocean Range. Hills are defined as land that rises above their surroundings and have rounded summits. They are smaller and less rugged than mountains. Plains are areas of relatively flat land. Over half of the world's population live on plains, which make up about 55% of the land surface of the Earth. It is easier to build cities on plains, and traveling is also easier on flat land. Many of the Earth's plains are made up of fertile land, and most of the world's agriculture is grown on this type of land form. Some good examples are the Great Plains of North America, the North European plains that extend from Belgium in Europe to the Ural Mountains in Russia, and the North China Plain in Eastern Asia. The fourth major type of landform is called a plateau. A plateau is a large, relatively flat area that stands above the surrounding land, usually having steep sides ranging from about 300 to 3,000 feet. They form as a result of an upward movement in the Earth's crust. Because of their flat tops, plateaus are often referred to as tablelands. Some smaller plateaus, or sections of plateaus, are called mesas. These smaller sections are officially known as outliers. Outliers that are higher and thinner are called buttes. The Colorado Plateau in the southwestern region of the United States and the Tibetan Plateau in China are prime examples of this type of land form. The sides of plateau regions may be called escarpments. An escarpment is a cliff or steep rock face that separates two comparatively level land surfaces. A view of Cape Town, South Africa, shows an escarpment in the background. Much of Africa is a plateau surrounded by narrow strips of coastal lowlands, and this view shows this change in elevation very dramatically. What is a continental divide? A continental divide is an elevated boundary that separates rivers flowing toward opposite sides of a continent. It usually follows a mountain range or other high ground. In North America, the continental divide is located in the Rocky Mountains, and in South America, the continental divide runs along the Andes mountain range. What is a valley? A valley is an elongated natural depression in the earth bordered by higher land. The movement of water, ice, or the Earth's crust leads to the formation and development of valleys. Rivers and streams produce most valleys. Sometimes, because the surrounding rock is very durable or hard, steep, almost vertical walls are formed, and these valleys are called canyons. The Grand Canyon was formed when the Colorado River cut through the southwestern part of what is now the United States. Rift valleys are formed when there is movement of the Earth's crust. Two plates are actually moving apart. Chunks of crust may sink between two parallel faults or cracks and produce a steep sided depression. Many rift valleys continue to widen. The Great Rift Valley in East Africa and Southwest Asia is a prime example of this type of land form. It is about 5,000 miles long. The Red Sea fills part of it, and many of East Africa's major lakes occur in this Rift Valley system. What are the largest bodies of salt water on Earth? The answer to this question is, of course, the four oceans. Actually, it is one continuous body of water, but it has been given different names according to where it is divided by the continents. This global body of water covers almost three quarters of the surface of the Earth. The four oceans are the Pacific, Atlantic, Indian, and Arctic. Ocean currents are river-like streams of water within an ocean. Some currents are near the surface of the water. They carry warm water north or south from the tropics to the temperate zones, and cooler water south or north from cooler areas toward the equator. An example of this type of current is the Gulf Stream. Deeper, cooler currents carry oxygen to all living things in the ocean. They also transport nutrients. The Peru current off the west coast of South America is this type of ocean current. What's the difference between a sea, a gulf, and a bay? 
To geographers, a sea is a division of the ocean that is enclosed or partly enclosed by land. There are more than 50 seas. Enclosed seas often reach far into continents and are connected with the ocean by narrow bodies of water called straits. The Mediterranean Sea is connected to the Atlantic by the Strait of Gibraltar. The Red Sea is connected to the Indian Ocean through the waterway called Bab el Mandab. These seas have a very small range of tides. Partially enclosed seas are more like the open oceans. The Arabian Sea and the Coral Sea are examples of this type of sea. Others, such as the Caribbean Sea and the South China Sea, are entered from the ocean through passages between islands. Some seas are actually lakes. They are bodies of salt water, but like other lakes, they are completely surrounded by land. The Caspian Sea between Iran and Russia and the Aral Sea surrounded by Kazakhstan and Uzbekistan and the Dead Sea between Israel and Jordan are examples of this type of water. The Great Salt Lake in the United States is also an example of this type of lake. These lakes are closed lakes. Lakes from which water only leaves by evaporation are considered closed. Water vapor rises and leaves behind a residue of salt. Many closed lakes are saltier than the ocean. The Dead Sea is the saltiest body of water on Earth. Lakes are formed in several ways. Many were created by retreating glaciers. The Great Lakes in North America and most of the lakes of Scandinavia are good examples of this type of lake. Some lakes were created along fault lines. The Caspian Sea was formed this way, and so were the lakes of Eastern Africa along the Great Rift Valley. Other lakes are the results of volcanoes. Crater Lake in Oregon is located in an old volcanic crater. Rivers sometimes form lakes. Some rivers meander or wind back and forth across a plain. When this river experiences a sudden flood, it may cut a new channel or course and cut off a portion of its old course. This creates an oxbow lake. People are also responsible for some lakes. Reservoirs behind dams are considered lakes. Lake Nasser behind the Aswan High Dam in Egypt is an example of this kind of lake. Gulfs, on the other hand, are portions of the ocean that penetrate into the land. They are generally, but not always, larger and more deeply indented than bays. They are sometimes connected to the ocean by one or more narrow straits. Some of the better known gulfs include the Gulf of Mexico, the world's largest gulf, the Persian Gulf between the Arabian Peninsula and Iran, and the Gulf of Guinea off the western coast of Africa. A bay is generally smaller than a gulf, and its mouth, where it meets a lake or the ocean, is usually wider than an entrance to a gulf. Some famous bays are San Francisco Bay in California, the Bay of Biscay, north of Spain, and the world's largest bay, Hudson Bay, in northern Canada. What is a fjord? It is a long, narrow ocean inlet that reaches far inland. Fjords were formed in U-shaped valleys that were created by glaciers millions of years ago. They are natural harbors with the deepest part farther inland. Fjords are found in Alaska, New Zealand, Chile, Greenland, and Canada. But the most well-known fjords are found in Norway. What are rivers? A river is a large natural stream of flowing water. They occur on every continent and flow through every kind of land form. Some flow all the time, and some flow only during part of the year. Some are short, and some are long. The Nile River in Africa is the longest river in the world. It is over 4,000 miles long. The Amazon River in South America is the second longest river, and it carries more water than any other river in the world. Some other major rivers are the Mississippi in the United States, the Yangtze in China, the Volga in Russia, the Ganges in India, and the Rhine in Western Europe. The source of a river is where it begins. Many begin in mountainous regions, sometime from melting glaciers, as small streams. 
the Ganges River has such a source. They may also begin from underground spring. The Volga River begins this way. Lakes with streams flowing outward can be the sources of rivers. Lake Itasca in Minnesota is considered the source of the Mississippi River. Some small rivers and streams feed into larger rivers. They are known as tributaries of the larger river. The Ohio, the Tennessee, the Arkansas, and the Red Rivers are tributaries of the Mississippi. The place where a river empties into a larger river or a lake, bay, gulf, sea, or ocean is called its mouth. A river usually deposits gravel, silt, and sand at its mouth. This deposit forms a delta. A delta is a low-lying flat plain at the mouth of a river. There are many types of landforms and bodies of water that are not discussed in this video. They include a subcontinent, foothills, gorges, rapids, channels, sounds, reservoirs, canals, estuaries, swamps, wadis, and tides, just to name a few. Why don't you do some investigating on your own to find out what these terms mean?